What's going on my fellow Normakians and viewers, Normak here, and as you see here, I am playing GTA 5 on the PlayStation 4. I just booted up a online game, we're going to go ahead and just get in this car and roll around for a little bit while we talk a little bit about a little service that just released, and I'm actually using it right now, that is the music you guys are hearing. I am talking about the new PlayStation Music Trademark service, Spotify. Now, Spotify, you guys, you guys may be... Uh, familiar with the service it's been available for a, uh, uh, for a while on multiple platforms it just now made its way to the PlayStation platforms the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 primarily um, and it's absolutely awesome I love it five out of five thumbs up and everything I'll even show you guys that sometime uh, during the video but yeah I did turn down the music uh, in Grand Theft Auto 5 because I didn't want it to interfere with the music that's going on now. Now, I was reading an article how it was supposed to automatically turn it down for you, but I just don't trust it to do that. It seems like a lot of coding work to make the game automatically do that for you. It may already do it, but I just like, nah, I don't feel like messing with it later. But I just have a random soundtrack playing. It's not random, it's part of one of my playlists, but it's pretty cool. So, uh, just we're just driving around while we talk about Spotify basically then I'll show you guys the service so the service itself is obviously a music service and it's very comparable to like Google Play Music, Xbox Music, uh, I'm trying to think what else is kind of like it but it's basically one of those services where you can look up a song and add it to your playlist and basically it feels like you own the song but you only own the song if you have a membership now Spotify does have two types of memberships on the PlayStation so you have your free membership which on the PlayStation um, it will basically not give you as rich quality sound when it comes to the quality of the music you're listening to yes I suck at driving sorry <laughs> I'm just driving around and then also it will uh, you will have ads on the free membership um, that's going to be available to everybody um, and you do not need PlayStation Plus for the free membership or anything like that so that's pretty good and then you have your premium membership oh god you're an idiot <laughs> why would you do that <laughs> but anyway you have your premium membership which is ten dollars a month and basically it gives you rich audio quality which is very noticeable because honestly I'm listening to Spotify on my PS4 and it's the best quality I heard outside the other platforms I've used Spotify on I've used it on a tablet a smartphone even my PC and it's been available for those platforms for a while and I'm listening to it on my freaking PS4 and it sound, somehow sounds magically better than the other platforms I've used it for so that's pretty good and then I don't have to worry about ads and I have been a very avid Spotify user for three years so my excitement level for Spotify to be available on my platform of choice of gaming is just a dream come true because I just didn't believe something like this could happen with Sony having their own music service which was previously Music Unlimited which is now completely dead because Spotify is now in the picture it's just like it was hard to believe that Sony would let their music service go for this but they did it and the dream is now here and it's funny Spotify kind of released as a stealth release in a way they never really gave us a release date of when this was coming but as of March 30th 2015 this is the first day it's released and it actually released 4 30 a.m. central time very random but hey I was up I'm always up late and yeah this was happening and pretty psyched so the music is pretty awesome so if I do hold down the PlayStation button as you see here, I do have Grand Theft Auto 5 and Spotify open right now. I can turn down the music, turn it up, and if I want to go to the next uh, soundtrack, I'll just press R1 or L1 to go, go back or forward. So. so, pretty cool. So, we'll go ahead and actually sink our teeth into the service. We'll park on the side here. Park on the side, you know, don't get in anybody's way. So press the PlayStation button and here's the icon that's actually going to show up when you turn on your PlayStation 4 the day Spotify releases, which is obviously now. So if you haven't turned it on today already, um, yeah, 
this should be here so PlayStation music is the new trade line that Sony has going on for the music service and they are using Spotify as their exclusive music application slash partner uh, for the PlayStation Network to experience the true music service that everybody should be using just being honest but like I said I have given this a thumbs up and so did 1.2 thousand people within the first few hours of its release and I have given it a five star I wonder what how many stars it has like in general huh I'll have to check that out later but yeah so as you see here we got different banners uh, basically just suggestions of what we should check out but let's go ahead and just start the application and I'll show you guys what it's all about now there are two cons that I don't like about the application but it's okay uh, by the way it's just suspending the application it's not closing it so I could easily open it back up no problem so this is what's on right now basically um, the soundtrack I'm on and different music um, in the soundtrack so that's pretty cool then we have browse here so first thing we see here is great songs for a great day so just a few suggestions to choose from we could go to more and see some other suggestions so cardio workout ultimate country you know that's there for those who enjoy those or you know those uh, titles alone might just get people like oh let me check this out and you can look at the different playlists that are in there and then we have uh, genres and moods so trending party rock chill sleep I mean they have basically music for every occasion which is really neat and Spotify is just so awesome and then uh, with it being mu new music to to well it's actually Monday so just the newest releases available right now um, yeah I could go to more and just look at the different albums or singles that have released um, guess we'll randomly click on one please don't let this be bad future people I never heard of these guys <laughs> but yeah and I just have that playing and then I can go to my music and this is one con right here it's very unorganized I have uh, it's obviously the um, service on the PlayStation is differently formatted but it's also very unorganized than what I'm used to hopefully that setting could be updated in the future and I'm sure it will be um, as they are trying to make this the best music service on uh, a gaming console right now and I still think it is um, considering what it offers um, on the PlayStation or outside the PlayStation, Spotify is the service to get if you're going to subscribe to a music service for money. And $10 a month, I have been doing that for three years. It's worth it, guys. <laughs> I wouldn't be doing it for three years if it wasn't worth it. Um, i trying to see what shall we play. Um, so if I want to play like that and then I want to go down, you have two options here. I can add it to my queue. Or I can add it to uh, my music, but here's the problem. I can't add it to a playlist I currently already have, like my other devices do. I can, I have, I have a very concrete, organized way of how I have my Spotify say, uh, um, set up, and I can't really, you know, easily add a song to a playlist the way I want to, but it's not a big deal. I know this sorry part of the playlist, but it will still let me add it to like another if I want it, but not a big deal. If I do press down. Um, I can look at the uh, other songs that I have coming up in the basically in my queue. I can press R1 and I'll go to the next one. Down here I can shuffle, have repeat on. Ah oh, man, there's only one repeat. So I can have a repeat like basically cycle through the whole playlist and it will cycle through again but I can't have it where it will keep repeating the same song but no big deal. And then right here I can add it to my music again so I can reverse or rewind with the R2 and L2 buttons um, circle to go back and I mean really the last thing I really want to show you guys because I mean I can't really show you much here in my music area because it's unorganized but not really much to be said here um, actually two things to show you so yeah I can look up any artist and any other albums that I've ever created and uh, yeah it's pretty cool so if I want to look up like Drake or something oops drive Drake and drive I don't know <laughs> Drake and uh, I want to like look at his newest album or multiple albums that he's made over the years I can look at all of them um, let's just do this this be a single
Is it Splizzit, guys? My bad. <laughs> it's not a big deal. But yeah, it's pretty cool, guys. It's really awesome. I can be on the internet browser. All of a sudden, this. And it'll work with every game. So you shouldn't have to worry about lim limitations. So it's pretty cool. Um, one last thing I wanted to show you is how, how it looks when you are signing up or uh, logging in. So if you sign up, you got your basic sign up details. Like I said, you could go premium or free or free. We already talked about the differences with that. Um, but let's go ahead and go into login. Obviously I have an account. You can log in typically with the username and password if you rather do that or you could do it the cool way. So if you own um, a smartphone or tablet and you have Spotify downloaded on there and obviously a uh, subscription already, uh, just go to the application on those on one of the two devices. Op have a song playing or at least have a song at least pause and so you have a bottom bar show up and you'll click on the song and you'll click on the speaker uh, area which is going to be on the bottom right corner and from here you'll look up any connections that relate to Spotify being open on any platforms that are around wirelessly PS4 should be on that list so when you click on that it will automatically log you in so cool and of course you will need to link your Spotify account to your PlayStation Network and from here you can start playing whatever you want so I am gonna play a song from my phone and I can use this as if it were a remote which is really freaking cool so so yeah and that's Spotify for the PlayStation 4 I do uh, expect it to get updated and evolve with new features and fixes to make the experience even better um, but I highly recommend Spotify to any music lovers or people that just want to discover new music. Um, I mean, even the free service should be pretty worth it. It's just you'll have ads from time to time, but I mean, you're used to that using Pandora and Last FM and the other stuff, so it's not a big deal. But yeah, Spotify is not just a mu uh, just a uh, radio, but it basically plays whatever you want, so it's a pretty big deal. <sighs> Man. Spotify is awesome. But hey, if you have any uh, feedback, uh, it's definitely welcome and appreciate in the comments area. I just want to hear what your thoughts or any questions you guys have about the service. I should be uh, obligated to answer any of them just because I know the service so well. So just let me know. Uh, of course, give the video a thumbs up, thumbs down if you enjoyed the video or not. And subscribe if you're not already. Crap. <laughs> if uh, Subscribe if you're not already for another game content I do post on my channel. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for the support. And until next time, my fellow Normakians and viewers, Normak signing out. Peace.